In this video, we're going to go over the lymphatic system. In this diagram, you can see the different components of the lymphatic system, and you can first appreciate that the lymphatic system covers the entire body with its lymphatic vessels. It also includes the spleen, the thymus, and the bone marrow, which we'll discuss. So, in terms of the function of the lymphatic system, first thing you wanted to recall is that in the cardiovascular system, there is a net loss of fluid at the capillaries. This net loss of fluid at the capillaries would cause all of our tissues to swell if it wasn't for the lymphatic system. So really, one of the primary functions of the lymphatic system is to recover excess fluid lost at the capillaries in the cardiovascular system. This fluid that gets taken up by the lymphatic vessels is no longer called blood, it is considered lymph. And in this lymph, since it's in the interstitial fluid, it might encounter potential pathogens. So before this fluid can re get returned back into the blood supply, it has to be filtered. So in the lymphatic system, there are these lymph nodes all over the body. And these lymph nodes are essentially concentrated areas of lymphocytes that are part of the immune system. These lymph nodes will help to filter the lymph and clear the pathogens so that it can be returned back into venous blood. Now, a few additional things to note. The lymphatic system does have other functions. So another primary function of the lymphatic system is to absorb fat in the gastrointestinal tract. So in particular, the lymphatic vessels in the GI system for fat absorption are called the lacteals. So you might have heard of that term before. For the other organs in the lymphatic system, we have the spleen. The spleen is this red organ that is essentially a reserve of red blood cells and also plays a role in removing old red blood cells from the body. The thymus is the location where T cells mature and T cells are an important component of the adaptive immune system. The bone marrow is where B cells and T cells are produced and where B cells mature. B cells are the complementary component of the adaptive immune system to the T cells. So essentially the lymphatic system has an important role in recovering excess fluid from the interstitial fluid and it also has an important immune role.